Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We have everything for you right here. So we're going to take a look at the NHL action for March the 13th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section which has all the tools that you will need to make your picks. So we have several games in store. We're going to take a look at four of them for this Sunday. So let's get started. We have the Carolina Hurricanes versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Pittsburgh is sixth in the Eastern Conference and hosts the number one seeded Hurricanes. You can see Carolina is burning hot at the moment. Winners have four out of their last six games. And Pittsburgh is averaged down at the moment. They have lost their last two after winning their previous three. The score prediction has Pittsburgh by a 4-3 margin with 77% level of confidence in the prediction. That's a high scoring game. But if you look at the over-under trends, you can see that Carolina has been over in only two of the last four games, and Pittsburgh has involved in games over in only three of the last six, so the trend has been more under than over. So take a closer look at the uh, prediction as time goes by. And as you see now, it has already gone down to 74% confidence in prediction, with Pittsburgh 4-3. to three. The power rankings indicator shows that Carolina is at plus 30, while Pittsburgh is on a downward trend from plus 31 down to plus 23. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, how stable have the two teams been, how consistently are they performing according to their favorite underdog status, you can see Carolina's at plus 20, while Pittsburgh is at plus 13, but both of them are on a generally upward trend. The way I'm looking at this game is I do like Pittsburgh at home to have enough to win this game. I would probably avoid the over-under bet, but I think Pittsburgh will win. I'm going with Pittsburgh by a goal, perhaps in overtime to do so. Toronto and Buffalo, Montreal and Philadelphia. Next game we want to really take a closer look at is Vegas and Columbus. Vegas enters 7th in the Western Conference, and Columbus is ninth in the Eastern Conference. So both of, them, both of them really battling for one of the final playoff spots at the moment. Vegas is averaged down. Coming off of a loss, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six. And Columbus is dead stats losers of five out of their last six games. Notice that Columbus has been involved in games trending over the line. Four out of the last six games, over, and Vegas over three, under three in the last six. The score prediction has Columbus by a 3-2 to two margin with about 70% level of confidence in the prediction. On the power ranking indicator, you can see Vegas was at plus 10 about a week ago, and now they're up to plus 17, while Columbus is at plus 12. How consistent are the teams performing according to the favorite underdog stats? Again, pretty much on an upward trend with Columbus at 18, Vegas at plus 12, so they've been pretty consistent in that regard. I think Columbus is going to come away with the win. They have to break their losing streak at some point. I believe it's going to be now. Columbus will win at home, but I would void the over-under bet. Winnipeg, St. Louis, Anaheim, and New York Islanders. Next game we want to look at is Calgary and Colorado. This is the game of the week. Calgary enters second in the Western Conference, and Colorado is first in the conference. The Avalanche <clears throat> are coming off of a loss, and they lost three out of their last four, and they are three and three over their last six. Average down status. Calgary has average status. They are coming off of a loss, and they are four and two over their last six. The score prediction has Colorado with a 3-2 margin of win, but only 37% level of confidence. Let's see if this, this changes as it gets closer and closer to the game. The power rankings indicator shows the teams nearly stable, excuse me, near, nearly the same, and also pretty stable. There, there hasn't been a whole much of a change in these uh, numbers. Well, a little bit of a change here with uh, Calgary. They were at plus 27 on March 3rd, they did drop to plus 23, now they're up to plus 26. But in general, both these teams have been near the top of the league, and Colorado is at plus 27 to plus 26 at the moment. The volatility oscillator, how stable have the two teams been? Colorado more so than Calgary at plus 24 to plus 11, but still, Calgary is at least moderately stable. So what's this all going to mean in the end? I do like Colorado at home. I think they're just a little bit too good. And they're going to win at home in a game going over the line. Florida and the Los Angeles Kings. This will be another good matchup. Florida enters second in the Eastern Conference, and the Kings are fourth in the Western Conference. 
if you notice here, uh, Florida is over in five out of the last six, and the Kings are also over in five out of the last six. If you take a look at the numbers here, the power ranking indicator is plus 30. Florida compared to plus 22 for Los Angeles. The total predictor is showing that if you notice here that Florida has been playing in games over the line five out of the last six games. The Kings are also over the line five out of the last six games. This is a good indication that this would be a high scoring game going over. The score prediction three to two, maybe not so much. If you're going over, it's going to be close, but I don't think this is going to be the case. I think it's going to be a higher scoring game than, than this. 3-2 to two with 71.7% level of confidence. Take a look at the stability factor. You see that both teams have been performing pretty consistently with their favorite underdog status at plus 20 for Florida and plus 10 for the Kings. In the end, I think that the Kings are going to come away with the win at home. A goal, maybe two goals, but I'm leaning more towards a goal and perhaps even into overtime. So this should also be a very good game. So there you have it. Those are all the games that we're going to take a look at for March 13th in the NHL. Happy betting, and we will see you again next week.